Hey guys, welcome to Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden, and I got a little daily short read for you guys today. Um, something told me to get up and do this reading. So, um, here I am. So, I prayed off a of camera. I'm going to ask Spirit to send you guys love and light, and I'm going to jump right in. In the first placement, we have the Hermit. The Hermit speaks of going within. And having the discernment to look at the things that you're going for in your life. That means really assessing on how you perceive the mind. How you perceive um, tangible financial things. When you speak of the hermit, it has everything to do with the mind. It has everything to do with assessment. The way you feel. But... It has everything to do with just self. It is a self mastery of understanding and confinement. Actually, it's it's really being alone and getting the best of your mind from yourself. It's actually one of the most joyful times. It um also speaks of a Virgo, if that's significant for anybody, and just like Virgo, Virgo thinks more of tangible things in their life the things they can touch see and feel so um yeah th that would bring up knowing um how to move forward with your money home just being stable within those things so um yeah you want to go within right now to take time to assess the things that you're going through in your life which leads us to the page of swords. The page of swords is coming up with a new thought, which is prominent to the hermit, because from going within, you come to a new thought of things. And you might be led by your passions and the things that you want to see in life, which inevitably will send you into a growth of money. And it will be something that will be led by your passions intuitively something is telling you to change your mind and to go for things of knowledge and wisdom in a place of healing so from going within you get a new mind of how to be renewed and come out on top of a situation that has to do with your thoughts everything today revolves around your thoughts in your mind how they can't be controlled by anybody else because you're within your thoughts when you're there nobody else can rule it period so it speaks of going within and knowing where you're going to start off fresh and new from i like that which leads to the lover's cards. Now, people would say the lovers depict two people and that's the love of another. I beg to differ. I say the lovers is the card of love for oneself. And because everybody has the feminine and masculine qualities in them. And it's saying to take the time that when you go within to get the new main, the new mind, you come out with a new sense of love for oneself. That love can be generated through thought or through tangible things like the money you make. The people that you carry yourself around can generate a certain type of love. And that comes from a knowledge of knowing oneself. And it's kind of a beautiful thing because... When I think of the lover's card, I always think of the love for the passions of the things that I go for in life. Mm, that's really short and sweet. I really have nothing to add to that. So we want to go within to get a new mind frame, which leads us into a love aspect of the things that we're going to do in life. Spirit, that's what you got me up at 5 o'clock in the morning and say. I like it, though. So today is a day of reflection on our own thoughts, which will lead us into a way of the things that we're going to love. You can get up and be like, oh, 
Jimmy wants me to um, talk about a situation that I'm not comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with that situation, I don't think you should follow through what Jimmy wants because at the end of the day, this day is for you and your reflective emotion, emotional and thoughtful times. So, real short, real sweet, and um, for more of my tarot from Intellectual Tarot, Instinctual Tarot, sorry, um, you can look on YouTube. I will also be on Instagram, and I will also be on Facebook. Until later, guys. Plenty love. Plenty light. Bye.